when YouTube Gaming launched, and it was an app uh, for iOS and Android, as well as a desktop destination that only showed gaming content, it got significant traction on day one, then about half that traction on day two, and then about 25% day one's traction on day three, and then the platform just died. And a huge thing that happened here was YouTube created this thing. They repackaged everything that had already existed in YouTube and just kind of put a gaming skin on it. And then they didn't promote it, really. They didn't put much money behind it after that. And they kind of made the mistake that hopefully Mixer and Facebook Gaming will not make. They invested a minimal amount of money after that on relationship building events with creators. And I went to a number of those and they were great, but they didn't market YouTube gaming heavily enough. They did not leverage the power of the YouTube algorithm to push live after the initial, let's say three to four months post launch. When the platform first launched, you could go live and you could dominate search results for the particular game that you were streaming. It was insane. Like you could have like a hundred viewers watching you on YouTube live or YouTube gaming in this case for huge games like Overwatch. And you would be a number one search result the entire time you were live and you could get tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of views and really acquire live audience at an insane rate. And the people that did this super early and quadrupled down on it, who were already mega YouTubers survived 